Hey, what's up everybody? It's your boy Pokemon Mikey and guys coming at you today with a little bit of cheap stuff. That's right guys, cheap stuff as in dollar store packs. That's right guys, I was able to find some team up dollar store packs at my local Dollar Tree. But before we do get into that guys, I do have a little bit of piece of mail. I did get some fan mail from Pokemon Planet Scizor. That's right guys, if you know anything about this guy, he is a phenomenal social media person. That's right guys, I don't know, I don't think he does any kind of like YouTube stuff, but he's definitely on Instagram and definitely on Facebook, and he is showing some of the most amazing Pokemon content. He shows pictures, he shows, he does like all the new stuff. He's super up to date with all the new stuff that's going on in Pokemon. So guys, if you are not subscribed to him, or if you're not following him on his Instagram, you guys need to do that. He was the first person to come out with the Generation 8 news. He was the first person to honestly, like, just hook me up. You know what I mean? Like, he is an amazing YouTuber. He is super awesome. And, oh, my God. What did you send me, Scizor? What did you send me? You sent me some Toys R Us promos? Dude, you are a, oh, my God. Bro, you are a oh, you are amazing, man. Thank you so much. Look at this. Oh, I do not have any of these promos. These are sweet. Look at this exhausted meowth. Hit <laughs> exhausted tackle. Holy cow! Thank you so much, Pokemon Planet Scizor. You are a G. Like I said, guys. So please go ahead and check him out. He is amazing. So. I mean, I'm, I'm literally just speechless. I don't know what to say. So thank you so much, Scizor. If you're watching this, man, you are the man. But guys, let's go ahead and crack into some of these team up stuff I do have. And apparently, I must have missed something because I do have a Lost Thunder and Celestial Storm hiding in here. But let's go ahead and before we crack into these, I'm going to open up all these with scissors because I cannot stand opening up like 30 dollar tree packs because i swear these things are sealed way better than the normal packs are and if you guys watch any of my videos you guys do know i do have trouble opening up packs sometimes so i'm going to do this super fast and here we go all right guys i do apologize for the scissor speed up video but like i said guys this just way too many packs to crack into so Without further ado, we do have 26, 25 dollar store packs, and apparently I got a one Celestial Storm and a Lost Thunder mixed up in here somehow, but nonetheless, it is awesome, so let's go ahead and crack into these right away. There is no codes, guys, so I do apologize for that. One to the front is the card trick for these. We have a Kabuto, a Pancham, and a Holographic Zapdos. Let's go! First pack magic out of a dollar store. Hopefully I can go ahead and pull a ultra rare. That would be awesome. But Dollar Tree packs, I don't know if that's if there's even kind of like seed rates per boxes. A little Geo dude and a Mankey. Hopefully we do pull something other than just a Zapdos. My I have high hopes. Last time I did a dollar store, like you guys are gonna give me energies. One dollar, you guys are gonna give me energies. Oh, but you did give me reverse rare Zorark, so okay. Okay, I'm glad you gave me an energy now. Okay, I see it. But like I said before, guys, I did do some Dollar Tree packs back when I first started my YouTube. I did a whole bunch of Lost Thunder, and I did pull two GXs out of it. So that was amazing. I believe it was a Tyranitar and Zorark. Just, it wasn't full art or anything, but it was awesome to get a good pull out of a Dollar Tree pack. So... I have, like I said, guys, I have high hopes for this. And guys, please comment down below and let me know how excited you are about these this new Generation 8 of Pokemon that came out. Are you guys going to go with the Fire type, Water type, or Grass type? I really think I like Grookey the most, to be honest with you. And I've never once been a Grass type trainer. I never picked Bulbasaur. I never did... <laughs> You know what I mean? I never did chest pin, never did. I was always a fire type and water type if the, I didn't like the fire starter. You know, so I always rolled with Torchic. I did Cyndaquil. I would do Totodile. I never once did Chikorita. Bulbasaur was eh. 
I just a, a big part of who I pick as a starter goes a lot after like what does their final evolution look like is it a cool evolution for their final or does it look kind of weak if it's weak I will not be picking it you know what I mean so when that game does come out and they do show their final forms that's when I really will decide I just really hope they don't do another legendary bird. Let's go, Lugia. Okay, I may, I may have gotten a legendary Dollar Tree packs. But like I said, guys, I do not want to see another Incineroar. That was, I was really let down for Litten. You know what I mean? Like, Litten, Torcat, those were all cool until you evolved into Incineroar and now you shoot fire out of your, like, wrestling belt. And apparently I missed some cards in this one. So I don't know if I messed up the card trick or not. So we're just going to go ahead and do it like this. But you know what I mean? Like you're shooting fire out of your like WWE championship title belt. That's not, that's not cool. You know what I mean? Like you're, okay, you, you are like a big swole cat. But you still need to have some like normal moves. You know what I mean? You can't just shoot fire out of your belt. And guys, I also heard that sword and shield is going to be armored evolutions. I did see some, I, I don't know if it's fan art or whatnot, but I'll put a little picture right here of a Charizard wearing like a helmet and some armor. So that might be a spoiler and I would totally be digging that if these Pokemon did get some armor. So that is exciting. So without further ado, guys, we are getting down to the nitty gritty. We are almost done. We have a Dratini reverse. So we did get some decent pulls. We did get two legendary birds, so that's awesome. Return label again. Nidoran and a Mareep. But guys, I don't know if I'm gonna pull any full arts this time around. It's not looking too hot, guys, but we do have a little bit more to go. Hopefully this pile of cards doesn't get into the way of the camera because it's literally just piling up right here next to me. But yeah, guys, so I'm definitely gonna probably go with Grookey as my starter and we got a wondrous labyrinth prism star let's go so we did we are getting a couple pulls here and there no super rare pulls no new pulls yet besides that zoroark reverse and i don't think i have that starmie in reverse either so i guess we did get a couple good pulls out of this come on get out of there get out of there get out of there get out of there come on there we go nope all right so that's I don't know what that is. So we'll just go ahead and do it like this. Emolga, Heliolisk, and a Lolan Grimer. We have Celestial Storm now. Maybe maybe this is what we're going to get the secret rare in. Who knows? A Marsh Stomp, Torchic, and a Regice rare. Put those off to the side. I don't want to mix them up with my team up pile. But yeah, Grookey is definitely going to be my main man for that. Scar Bunny doesn't really seem too like interesting if you will i mean he is the fire starter he does look like he has some good possibilities for being something crazy but i don't want to like get my hopes up and then have his evolution be weak because that tends to happen sometimes when you jump the gun all right guys two packs left got so much garbage got so many cards i don't need but nonetheless we do not have a zorark reverse so Last pack magic time. Last pack magic time. <sighs> Kangaskhan. Charmander. And Helioptile. No super rares. No anything. But we did come out with five pulls. We did get a Starmie reverse rare. A Zorark. Do not have that card yet. Reverse rare. A Zapdos. And a Lugia holographic. And we did get one Prism Star. Which is Wondrous Labyrinth. It is a stadium card card. Well, I guess that might be pretty decent for the TCG. But guys, once again, I want to thank you, Pokemon Planet Scizor. You are a G. And we did get some decent pulls out of these Dollar Tree packs. But nonetheless, guys, these are my favorite pulls of the day. Let's go ahead and go. We have a Pikachu. We did get a Meowth. A Charmander. Geodude. And a Tangela Toys R Us. That is awesome. Thank you so much, Scizor. You are the man. 
And guys, I will leave a link to his Instagram and Facebook page down below. Make sure you guys follow him. He puts out the best Pokemon content around. But until next guy, until next time, guys, it's your boy Pokemon Mikey. Peace.